Okay, here we go. Bidding War League, Season 3, Week 4, versus Super Famous Guy. Okay, so he's going to bring... Um, oh boy, I thought I prepared everything. I didn't prepare everything. Let's see. Um, he's going to bring the Tapu Coco. Makes sense. The Clefable makes sense. Uh, Tentacruel. Darn. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, the Marowak. That's a huge problem. No Scizor. Talonflame. And Rhyperior. Okay, yeah, that's... I thought he would bring... I thought he would bring Scizor probably over Talonflame. Um, but I don't have great answers to fire types on this team, so I guess I can't be too surprised. Um, the plan... He's probably... Seeing his team, he's probably leading either Tapu Koko or um, Talonflame. I'm going to guess it's going to be the Tapu Koko, honestly. Uh, so we're going to lead with Nidoqueen. We need to try to pump this this game out in under 15 minutes because I think my wife is going to need my help. <laughs> um... So, uh, he says he predicted my team. <laughs> nice. Congrats, bro. Um, uh, yeah, so, that's, I played around with a lot of different things, actually. Yes, he did lead the Tapu Koko. You may have predicted my team, but I predicted yo lead, so. <laughs> um, God, I am on a streak of, like, predicting my opponent's leads, like, every time right now, which is insane. Anyway, we want to get rocks up immediately. I don't think he's staying in. Um, he might U-turn, uh, he might U-turn, but he, he could even, he'll probably just hard switch out, honestly. Um, I think I get free Stealth Rocks here. Uh, and he can go Tentacruel as a way to rapid spin them away. Um, that's probably what he has. Did he, I think Tapu Koko gets Defog, but, um, yeah, Rocks are going to be enormous for us. Uh, I kind of want the T-Spike. Yeah, he just hard switches, and it's probably going to be Tentacruel. Rhyperior! I could have Earth-powered on you, dog. Um, Alright, let's quick do some calcs here. Because we are very... Uh, let's see, Rhyperior. We are pretty... <coughs> spadef, but not Fizdef. So if you Earthquake, we're going to go down. Earth power is not doing... Oh, that's if he's Max Spadef, though. Let's say you're not Max Spadef. Earth power doesn't even come close to one-shotting, so we are going to switch... Predicting the Earthquake, we don't need this for Scizor anymore, so I think, uh, I think Corviknight is very safe. And now we get to keep Nidoqueen around for, um, for the Tapu Koko switch in, which is great. Uh, let's see what he's gonna go for. I'm gonna guess an Earthquake. He's gonna Rocks. Okay, that's fine. Um, I have Heavy Duty Boots on Cloyster, so honestly, Rocks are not the worst thing for me. Um, I kinda wanna U-turn... The only problem is if he stays in and I click U-turn, well, then he's going for a rock move, and we can probably go into uh, Urshifu, so we'll do that. He, he is going to stay in, so he's going to, like, Fire Punch or... Um, uh, I don't even know. What, Stone Edge, maybe? Um, I need to keep this around. I could try just setting up. No, we need to get our things up. You're probably going for a rock move. Um... Let's let's go Urshifu. Are we gonna lose Urshifu <laughs> immediately again? He's gonna swords dance, yo. Okay, Urshifu comes out. Close combat is not gonna knock you out. He's got leftovers. Swords dance leftovers. Interesting. Do I actually need this Pokemon for anything? Because this Rhyperior is a, is a threat right now, dude. Um, I might close combat just to... Uh, <laughs> we drafted this broken Pokemon and don't even... Like, we don't even use it. <laughs> this is not going to knock it out, by the way. Um, but it's going to get it in range. This thing's a huge problem. He's going to get me. <laughs> That's so funny. Urshifu is going to do nothing in this league. That's so funny. Rhyperior... KOs Urshifu with EQ. Yep, goodbye Urshifu. This most broken Pokemon, and I just keep wasting it, dude. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, so he's got the Swords Dance up. He's at like a th third of his health. Um, that's not the worst. Um, you know, just in case you're like super bulky, 
Let's see, Nine Tails Blizzard. Yeah, yeah. Do you even have a Blizzard switch in? Actually, yes, you have plenty of them. Actually. Um. Oh, not with rocks. You don't. You actually don't. Um. I'm just gonna Blizzard because this thing is a, is a huge threat. Um. Blizzard for the KO, or maybe he switches into one of his fire types. But here's the thing: is I have Stealth Rocks up. Um, Marowak is gonna want the want his held item. Yeah, so he's gonna take the rocks damage. Blizzard's gonna come out. That's fine. Marowak, Alola. Oh my gosh, that did so much. Yo, and we're gonna pick him off a of Dark Pulse now. Nice. Cause you, uh, I guess you could be Scarf. That would be nuts, dude. That would be an absolutely bonkers set if he was Scarf. We're going to Dark Pulse. That should pick up the KO. Nine Tails. Oh, jeez. <laughs> KOs Marowak with Dark Pulse. All right. Um, so we had to lose Urshifu over that, but I still think we're sitting in a good position here. Um, yeah, so Marowak being gone is, is amazing. Rhyperior's low, so now it's not a threat anymore. Talonflame, you got the heavy-duty boots, probably? You do. Okay, so... This thing is also a massive problem, actually, being completely honest. Um, I'm gonna go into Antilles. Uh, again, we don't really have a ton of use for Corviknight. I mean, I guess it's nice against Clefable. Um, but now that the Rhyperior is low... Yeah, I don't, I don't even care if you Flare Blitz. You're going to take so much chip if you Flare Blitz, dude. He's going to U-turn out. Okay. And what are you going to? Probably the Coco. Yeah, you're going to take my Rocky Helmet. Thanks for that. Okay. You're probably going Coco, in which case we go straight into uh, Nidoqueen. Because you can't you can't do anything to eat into Nidoqueen. I know we both have rocks, so we're both going to be taking this like chip damage all the time. But ultimately, I think it benefits me more than him. His team taking that chip damage. I need to get a veil up so I can. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Now that Marowak's down, I think Reuniclus just wins. On especially under veil. Yeah, no, that was the biggest threat. That was the biggest problem for uh, Reuniclus, is that if I didn't have Veil, vale, and if I did... Oh, he's going to double. Nice play. Into Clefable. Why would you double into Clefable? I'm going hard Nidoqueen Queen every time there, man. You're not Magic Guard, so that means you're unaware. That's very good to know, actually, because then this thing is a problem for Cloyster. However, I still don't think it matters for um, Reuniclus. You didn't bring a steel type, right? You did not. So I can just go ahead and throw off that uh, sludge wave. Um, well, what would you go into? Tentacruel? I don't care if you go Tentacruel. You're just going to let me sludge wave you, which is fantastic. You're going to wish. Okay. Okay, watch this. Watch this play. Ready? He thinks I'm going to sludge wave again. He thinks I'm going to sludge wave again, so he's going to go Rhyperior try to heal it up with Wish. And we're going to knock it out with uh, with Earth Power instead. Come on, go Rhyperior. Oh, Tentacruel! That's also good. Well, no, the Wish is probably going to get it back to full. Unless, what do we got here, Nidal Queen? Ah, two KO. Well, he's going to have uh, the wish. Right, right, right. Okay, what do we do versus Tentacruel now? Um, honestly, we just got to find a way to get in. Are you going to rapid spin on me? Probably. Let's Earth Power. He's just going to Scald. Okay. We need to find a way to get in Nine Tails to set Veil. Vale. And once we set Veil, vale, I'm I'm pretty sure Reuniclus just wins the game. Like no matter what. I don't see him I don't see how he would beat I mean Clefable in theory could. Um 
Let's see. He has nothing. Oh, he could go Talonflame though. He could. He could. He could Talonflame on me here. Um. Would he though? I'm gonna Earth Power to be safe. Ah! I should have Sludge Waved. I should have predicted this Talonflame. Yep. 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 That was so obvious. Now you're gonna Flare Blitz though. But that's fine. You're gonna take so much chip. I don't really care. I almost like almost went for the sludge wave there, man. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't I don't really care. You know, I might even not need the veil. So I might just go if this thing somehow manages to knock out Antilles. How do we do Talon Flame against Reuniclus? Because we were max defense. He's gonna Swords Dance though. That's terrifying. Um, let's see if he's plus two. Flare Blitz uh, versus Corviknight. Ooh, that does knock me out. He's going to take a ton of recoil. Um, that is a problem. But I think we just have to... Because this thing is not as super useful. I'm going to Roost. Just see if we happen to live. He's going to will o so we might even live a hit? Interesting. Depending on his set, we might even live a plus two Flare Blitz. Um, at this point, I'm going to Body Press just to get damn. Ah, maybe I should have Roosted. Yo, he's just going to spam the Swords Dance. Well, now he knows Now he knows he knocks me out. Uh, we're going to get the Body Press off. How much is that going to do? Absolutely nothing. Um, this is dangerous, actually. Hold up. We might just lose. Because um, I don't have priority. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Dual wing beat. Oh, we're fine, dude. Oh, my God. He doesn't have a fire move. Oh, my God. We would have just lost if he had a fire move, dude. That's... Oh, that's insane. That's insane, man. I can't believe he didn't have Flare Blitz. Or maybe he's predicting me to switch. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, he said misclick. Oh, that was like six minutes ago, though. So I don't know what the misclick was. Um, I'm just going to roost again. Just keep roosting off damage. I don't care if you go Tapu Coco. Yeah, okay. Nice, nice, nice. We survived that. Clefable's going to come out. We have the Iron Head for this. You're probably going to click Wish, so I'm just going to go ahead and Iron Head. Oh, but we're... Oh, that's right. The Rocks damage. Yeah, I can't imagine we don't do... What is that, like... 12% maybe? And you're not really a threat right now, so we're going to Iron Head. You are probably slower? Let's see it, Antilles. And the Clefable is down. Oh, you were Rocky Helmet. Um, Corviknight KOs Clef with Iron Head. Oh, nice. Antilles coming through, dude. I can't believe he didn't have a fire move. Now, the question is, if he goes Coco, he doubled out last time. Do I Am I ballsy enough to just U-turn this time? Expecting him to, uh, uh... I don't know where my phone is. Oh, it's over here. Just because I am wary that my wife is going to need some help. If you go Coco... No, I think we go hard Nidal Queen every single time. Because what, what's his play, right? What's... He could go... He doubles into... I need this for Talonflame, though. We, we, we can't mess around. I, 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 I honestly can't mess around with this thing. Yep, this time he did not switch. Just no, not messing around, man. Go for, like, the Thunderbolt. Let's see it. He goes for Volt Switch. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, Talonflame... Talonflame could eat the... We're going to Sludge Wave. Because the Earth Power is fairly obvious. Uh, 
Go Talonflame. Nice! I don't know if this is going to knock it out, though. Let's see it. Come on, Nidal Queen. Beautiful Nidal Queen. Okay. Now nothing takes a... Nidal Queen is going to KO Talonflame with Sludge Wave. Um, so the Clef is down. The Talonflame is down. There's nothing left. I mean, Nidal Queen might just clean up, actually. Because I outspeed the Rhyperior, for sure. C Coco can't touch me. And I think I beat the Tentacruel one on one. I think I just Earth Power here. I think we do. We, we might just win with Nidal Queen right now. You're gonna fire off a Scald. That's gonna do a good chunk, but not enough to put me in range of Coco. I think. Nidal Queen, KOs Tentacruel with Earth Power. Yeah, this is looking like a nice. I think I think Nidal Queen's got this now. Oh my God, dude! If he had a fire move on the Talon Flame, I, I mean I don't know how how much recoil he would have ended up taking. That's the question. So we should 100% outspeed this. Um, you're base 40, I'm base 76. I don't have any investment, but yeah, okay. Um, Nidal Queen gonna KO Rhyperior with Earth Power. And then we're about to wrap this up. Because there's absolutely nothing Coco can do to me. Um, let's just go ahead and fire off that Earth Power. Grass Knot, yeah, which is going to do nothing, dude. Yep. This should... Well, it might not get it. Depends on his set. And Noodle Queen is going to KO Tapu Koko. And we're going to take that nice 5-0 win. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, good game to my opponent. And, uh, yeah, so that's we're on a pretty good streak. It's funny, L.E.T., we are absolutely failing hard. Um, but, uh, but uh, hey, BWL, we're kicking butt. So, we'll take it. We'll take it. So, we'll catch you next time.